uh, hello everyone in this uh, video we'll talk about the rule of 70 so this uh, metric is very handy when it comes to exam or for day to day calculation if you are an investor or uh, you are working in a finance uh, field then this trick could be very handy for you so what this trick is all about is suppose if you have uh, uh, a money uh, in your bank which is i and uh, there is a inflation so we we always have inflation and because of that the dollar value decreases so if you keep this money with you and there is no interest rate coming on it and uh, how long will it take for your investment to become half and uh, you have a uh, inflation uh, rate uh, that is equal to r so inflation rate is equal to r and you want to calculate how much time will it take right so your investment is becoming half because of the inflation and the rate of inflation is r so how much time for should it take for your investment to become half so the simple uh, trick to approximate the time will be take the number 70 and divided by r so for example if you have inflation rate of uh, 10% then it will take 7 years for your uh, money to become half of its value and if uh, inflation rate is 7% then it will take you 10 years for your money to have half of its value so how uh, this uh, trick was generated so let's try to solve the same problem with a general approach and uh, the approach would be that we have a investment and uh, we have a inflation so we say 1 minus r and uh, the inflation is for a uh, time period t so it's compounded every year and that should be equal to uh, i divided by 2 right so in that case uh, if we uh, solve this uh, uh, equation then the i would cancel out and uh, we will have uh, t log of 1 minus r is equal to minus log of 2 right so in that case it will be equal to um, t will be equal to uh, minus log of 2 divided by log of 1 minus r right so instead of doing this complicated uh, calculation we can use this trick but let's do this com complicated calculation in excel and see uh, how did this trick uh, was uh, made so let's go to the excel and suppose we have uh, interest rate uh, which is uh, not the interest rate it's an inflation rate uh, so that's equal to 2 3 4 5 and we have different inflation rates and this is our uh, time so time for investment or your uh, money to become half that will be equal to uh, minus log of rate divided by log of 1 minus r so i'm dividing it by 100 because it's in percentage and that's your time so we can do the same thing you can keep copying this formula until 15. so now if we calculate uh, time uh, into rate that will be equal to 2 into time so 68.6192 so this is very close to 70 so if we keep doing this for all the rates we can see uh, something is wrong uh, here okay i did some uh, something wrong so this should not be log uh, uh, of rate it's it's uh, log of 2 so we have to do this and now you can see that uh, time is always uh, 
equal uh, to or very close to time into r is very close to 70 so that's why we always uh, use the rule of 70 we can also call it the rule of 68 or rule of 69 but this is all about the approximation so now if we if we calculate this uh, using the trick so what should be the time uh, using trick so that should be equal to uh, 70 divided by uh, wait that's 35 years so you can see that originally we were calculating 34 years but uh, uh, by using the trick it's 35 years so it's very close approximation and we can keep doing this for all the uh, rates and we can see that uh, the numbers are very close to each other so if we have 9.55 years here we get approximately 10 years so this is how the trick uh, is uh, was made and uh, you can see that it do give you the approximate values for your uh, um, uh, when you trying to do this calculation so i hope this uh, trick makes sense to you and it's useful for you and uh, i'll see you again in the next videos thank you